So taking a look at Dogecoin, kind of let's look at the chart. So the weekly time frame is oversold. I've been talking about that for a long time in a falling wedge with the measure move being at three cents. We'll see what can happen there. Three day time frame, just like the weekly, looks good to me. Uh, the two day time frame, I don't like. You're making a lower high on the stock RSI uh, while price is making a lower high. So that is bearish. And uh, that is bearish. The daily chart again got overbought, um, and it, that's another lower high. And as of right now, trying to put a higher low in. Uh, we'll pro this will probably the RSI will probably keep caroling to the downside. We'll see what happens, and that's a higher low. Then you want to see a higher high put in above 17 cents. If we can do that, we can be bullish again on the higher time frames on Dogecoin. The four-hour time frame kind of just going sideways. Really nothing to look at here. But I guess the four-hour chart did put in a lower high. Uh, so even the four-hour chart is not bullish right now. So really. Then I go down to the one hour chart. One hour chart is trying to get the bounce. Uh, now for the bounce, you want to see again, I'm basically move above 16 cents on the one hour chart to be bullish. And you want to get back above the 200 day moving average. So if I go back to the daily time frame, um, unless you really get above 16 cents again, I cannot be bullish on Dogecoin. And if you stay below 16 cents, the next stop is 12 cents. I've been talking about that support for the last few days now. So if you get above 16 cents, you can see 23 cents. If you stay below 16, I'm looking for 12 cents. So technically a short is in play unless you get above 16 cents. Uh, so you could technically enter a short now with a stop loss above 16 cents um, with a take profit down at 12 cents. Not financial advice, but that's the more probable play right now. Um, and if Bitcoin keeps struggling and going sideways or down, then this is likely to see 12 cents. Um, but long term, Dogecoin is still bullish on the weekly, the, but the smaller time frames do not look good. So I, if we went down to 12 cents and then got the balance up to 23 or 30 cents or even 35 cents, that would be very much in play or possible. But right now, that's what I'm looking at for Dogecoin short term, bearish, maybe move back to 12 cents and then a possible move up to that 30 cent level longer term. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for on Dogecoin. If you guys enjoyed this, appreciate it. If you hit the like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next update.